Hey friends, today we are working on a 2010 Ford Flex. I think most of them are the same anyway. But taking the bumper cover off, which we did already, and drill a tiny pinhole in my intercooler to drain any moisture out that might be in there, which we did already as well. But I'll walk you through it here. To take the bumper cover off, you see these three screws here. Those are five and a half millimeters. There might be one in standard, but I don't know what it is. And then you've got clips, of course. You've got one clip here that holds it into that area on the bumper. And then underneath, you've got virtually nothing, actually. So let's go to up top here. You've got two 10 millimeter screws up here. It's all easily accessible. You'll see them. Another two pins in there, maybe there as well. And those are just, you know, whatever plastic pins they have. You just use a regular old clip bar to take them off. Screwdriver might work, but usually damages the pins. And then the two elusive ones, there's two more underneath here. Don't mind this rusty car. It's got high mileage and it's from kind of a bad area. But there's two more pinholes under here. I can't remember where they are now, but there's two more clips underneath here and you'll find them at the top here that holds them in place. Gotta be careful, I almost ripped mine off. <laughs> and I think that's it that holds them in place. Those two clips. These two screws and the two or four pins here, three screws on either side, and then another pin on the bottom on each side. I think that sums it up. And then what we went ahead and did is we located our intercooler, which is the second one anyway. You can see it up top here. It's that one right there. Or if you want to confirm, you can find your charge line right there, of course. Let's see here, that one there. Too bright here, let's try that, that might be better. And then you can follow that plastic, it goes in behind. You can kind of see it up top or whatever, but yeah. Then you can see it right in there, that plastic. So, anyway, what I did is I went ahead, you can see it here, and I drilled a tiny little pinhole right there. You can see a little bit of moisture there. Now, using this drill bit here, it's so small that it won't affect, it wouldn't even be considered a boost leak, I don't think. But it's enough to where, especially when you're building boost, it'll push any oil or water that you have in there out. Now, we didn't have much, but we definitely had a little bit come out, I'd say, maybe an ounce or something. So, wasn't much. But anyway, if you find you have lots of surging going on at half throttle or whatever, usually it clears up when you floor it. But apparently it's a very common problem on these EcoBoosts. And... Uh, especially bad in the F-150s, but I don't think that was my problem. I think I've got something else. This thing had a stuck injector, and I think I might have fouled my cats and my sensors and everything, so I might have to go to that. But anyway, that's a simple one. Hope this video helps somebody. If you have any questions, ask. And as always, may God bless you.